All right, man, peace. You know, this is another story that I saw on the CBS Morning News. Uh, another main propaganda piece that, that they like to push is the so-called uh, wage gap between men and women. But they're going to reveal to you something that I told uh, you brothers previously and you listeners, whoever's out there who's listening. When they talk about male-female equality, they're not talking about male-female equality. They mean, they mean the female equality with the white male. All right. And they're going to show you that they're going to show you that in this clip. They're not talking about male female equality. They're talking about the female trying to be equal to the white male. He is the standard. He's the paragon. All right. So, I mean, that 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 opens up so many other questions. And it really it really reveals how uh, how neglectful the men of the other races are. In regards to what's going on right right in front of their eyes. All right, but let's see how they uh how they deliver this so called news. Companies in New York City will not be allowed to ask job applicants about their salary history under a bill the city council is expected to pass today. It is part of an effort to reduce the wage gap for women who often earn less than men. Uh that's a lie. That's been proven to be a myth and a lie. Uh, the so-called wage gap is, is predicated on the jobs that women seek after and what they're qualified to do more than there being a difference in what a man and woman get paid to do the same job. All right. So let's see how they let's see what other BS they come with. The nation of Iceland is working to become the first country in the world to make companies prove they pay equal wages. Michelle Miller is in the capital city of Reykjavik with a look at the struggle. Michelle, good morning. And I will guarantee you that the prime minister of Iceland is a plant for the international banks. All right. What the international banks do uh, in order to control a, a society or a country, they they implant certain uh, quote unquote agents or point men whose job it is to implement certain so, quote-unquote socialistic uh, agendas so that they can destabilize the, the uh, they can destabilize the, the certain aspects of that society. They want to break down certain, uh, certain societal norms and recreate them. And when they do that, it allows them to control the minds of the people. But predominantly, they want to control the money. So when you introduce women into the workforce, and I said this before, when you introduce women into the workforce, it allows you to uh, to inflate the, the economy because now you have a much larger work pool. Now that you have a much larger pool of people to choose from in the workforce, you can lower the overall wages and you get to print more money because you have to pay more people. You have to you have to have more fiat money, paper money in circulation. All right. And you also get to destroy the so-called family structure, so on and so forth. But this guy, this prime minister of Iceland, I guarantee you that he's a pawn of the international bankers. I guarantee you that. Good morning. Well, lawmakers here at Iceland's parliament introduced that bill last week. It's still up for debate. It is up for debate, but it's going to pass. But already it's received a groundswell of support from both women and men. No, it's, re it's received a ground a groundswell of support from women and the the uh, the women with penises that they call men in Iceland. And, and the nation's prime minister. The the prime minister, the, the plant of the international bankers. All right. Three-year-old Malkorka Maria Goodman's daughter is a carpenter's apprentice. She suspects the men in her trade are. Now they show her trying to screw in a, trying to put in a screw with the power drill. Even the screw wasn't going in straight. Or paid more for doing the same job. It don't fit. Malcorca Maria Goodman's daughter is a carpenter's apprentice. She suspects the men in her trade are paid more for doing the same job. Now it said that she suspects that the men in her, you know, in her line of work are paid more. For doing the same job. Now, how would she know that unless she has seen some of their pay stubs or she has asked them how much they make? She's saying that she suspects that. Right? 
one would think that she would have some type of verifiable proof. Or, or maybe she's just a, a young woman in what is has always been a predominantly male-driven field like carpentry. And the CBS Morning News decided to take her aside and say, you know, we'll pay you a certain amount of money to say that you're suspicious that men are getting paid more than you. Even though right now she's just a apprentice. She shouldn't even be worried about or concerned about who's getting more than her. She should be trying to work on her craft. Uh, you don't feel it. But when you see the numbers... It's shocking. Now, look what they did there. You know, let me rewind it back so we can get the whole thing together. Women. Melkorka Maria Goodman's daughter is a carpenter's apprentice. She suspects the men in her trade are paid more for doing the same job. You don't feel it. But when you see the numbers, it's shocking. Now, they said that at first they said that, that she's suspicious that the men and her in her trade are getting more or getting paid more to do the same job and then they followed it up with a clip of her saying that uh <laughs> that that you don't feel it but when you see the numbers it's shocking now she could have said that in response to any type of question she could have said that in response to a, a totally different conversation that they were having and that's how the so-called liberal media works they create a sentiment and then they apply a quote to that sentiment to make it sound like she's going along with the agenda when she could have been responding to, you know, she could have been responding to how do you feel about there not being as many women in carpentry? You know, she could have been responding to any type of question, but they put that response there to make it look like, you know, like, like she feels like she's being oppressed in the carpentry field. Now, let's see what they, let's see how they're going to follow this up. Women in Iceland get paid 14 to 20 percent less than men. Now, they're supposed to say women in Iceland are getting paid 14 to 20 percent less than men when working in the same field. All right. When they say that they're making that they're making 14 to 20 percent less than men. What if the average woman is, is working at a daycare center and the average man is an electrician? But the government here is trying to close the gender gap with legislation not just demanding equal pay, but requiring employers to prove it. They should also require, uh, they should also, you know, take some type of poll or tally and try to establish if the people are as satisfied with the woman's work as they are with the man's work. And then we can truly get an understanding or a barometer of how fairly women are being compensated for doing the same work that men are doing. It's 2017. Now it's time to man up. Iceland. Now you see that? This is the Iceland Prime Minister. He said it's 2017. It's time to quote unquote man up. That's the that that is a normal tactic that is used. That's a normal tactic that is used when uh whenever trying to break down the so-called gender barrier is to attack the masculinity. Now pay very close attention to this scene. I told you. Uh, a lot of times in the, you know, whenever they have an agenda driven story that's based in uh, Luciferianism, which is what uh, socialism or communism is based in. And I'll probably do a video on that in the near future in regards to Karl Marx and uh, where he came from and who he who he was bankrolled by. Whenever they do a story about that, like I did, like I said, with the homosexual story that I, that I did about four days ago, four or five days ago. They'll, they will oftentimes sneak numerology in there. They'll sneak certain numbers in there to let you know that, you know, look, um, this, this, this story is to push the agenda. Now, look at the number right over, uh, right to the right of the female's head. You see how they got 66 degrees there? That, that was not by accident. Iceland's Prime Minister, Bjarni Benediktsson, leads the government backing the bill in Parliament. It's about, you know, having people think about it. Have, have the Human Resource Department set up the pay policy standards and look at the requirements for each and every job so that gender does not, at the end of the day, uh, become the reason for different pay. Gender should not be the reason for different pay as long as they're both doing the same work with the same quality all right and that's almost impossible when you involve men and women for the simple fact that men and women have a different nature they have different body type they have different chemical and hormonal functions 
And anybody, like I've stated in the past, anybody who's worked in any environment around women knows that they tend to bring a lot of, for lack of a better term, nonsense into the workplace. All right. They know that a lot of times women are oftentimes much more affected by their emotions and much more affected by their personal life, which tends to compromise their workplace performance, particularly in jobs that are normally characterized by men. So let's see what goes on here. And like I said before, this guy is a plant. Whenever you see these so-called uh, prime ministers and rulers and they're, and they're talking about a uh, reform, class reform, especially particularly in regards to homosexuals or women, it's because they're getting a good check from the international bankers or their plants for the international bankers, quote unquote agents, allegedly. So you're making wages more transparent. Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. It's a murky topic worldwide. It's you see, even they admit that it's a murky topic. So if it's a murky topic, why are you why are you promoting it? Shouldn't you try to ascertain exactly what the agenda should be before you try to promote it? Especially when race is a factor in the U.S. Now, they say it's a murky topic, especially when race is a factor. I want you guys to play very, very, pay very, very close attention to how they list these stats. Once again, it's going to verify that when they talk about male female equality and breaking down the gender gap they're not talking about men and women they're talking about women and caucasian men all right let me rewind it a little bit um the reason for different pay so you're making wages more transparent uh, absolutely absolutely it's a murky topic worldwide especially when race is a factor in the u.s in 2015 white women earned 75 percent of what their male counterparts took in now i want you guys like i said please pay attention to how they list these statistics they said white women made 75 percent of what their white counterparts made so they put the so-called white woman they matched her up with her so-called white man. Now look at what they do with the other races of women. While well, black women earn just 63% of white male earnings. Now shouldn't they have said black women make, you know, such and such percent of what black men make? Wouldn't that have made more sense if you're actually concerned with the gender gap, the gender wage gap? That shows you, you know, you know what that shows you? Number one, it proves that that the real concern is uh, is trying to uh, perpetuate the image that the women of the other races, or that women of all races, are chasing after just the white man. But it also proves, brothers, and please pay close attention to this, that the black woman is making more money to do the same job than black men make. Because if that wasn't the case, they would have had black women versus black men. All right? Once again... You are behind enemy lines, not them. You are behind enemy lines, not them. I wonder how come, how come it's not an issue about how much money black men make versus white men to do the same job? How come that's not a talking point for the mainstream media? You see that? Earnings and Latina women, 54%. Now they even put Latina women, so-called Latina women versus the white man. So-called white man. How come it's not... How much Latina women make versus what Latina men make? Wouldn't that be consistent with the uh, with the topic at hand, which is supposed which is supposedly the U.S. gender wage gap? Hmm. Four percent. Iceland is one of the world's most progressive nations on gender and human rights issues. When it says that Iceland is one of the most progressive nations, what that means is that. They're the ones that they're, they're they're probably one of the bigger pawn countries. They're one of the easier countries to manipulate. Uh, their economy is probably totally under the thumb of the international bankers, which means that their prime minister is closely aligned to the international bankers. Whenever they whenever they use terms like progressive or or uh, liberal or reformist, that's what that's in reference to. Equal pay laws have been on the books since 1961, but the country has been slow to close the wage gap. Our goal is to reach this in 2022. That soon? Yeah. 
That's, that's our ambition. It takes a long time. It takes years. 70-year-old Gudrun Augustdottir has fought for equal pay most of her life. She helped organize a major strike in 1975. She didn't help organize a damn thing. She was a pawn, uh, most likely some type of pawn or plant. All right. The so-called feminist movement, like I said, that that was pushed by the international bankers to destabilize the so-called family structure and to introduce a larger working pool into the workforce to give an excuse to have to print more money. When they print more money, that means that the that it totally destabilizes the economy because it, it, it creates inflation. That's what inflation is, is the printing of more paper money, what they call fiat money. There's no gold or silver back in the money. So the woman, the woman is being used as a pawn. Uh, one of the most famous uh, so-called feminists, Gloria Steinem, she, she was revealed a long time ago to be a CIA operative, allegedly. All right. Her magazine, OK Magazine, was a uh, CIA funded publication, allegedly. Now, Gloria Steinem, uh, she was the guru or the teacher of such prominent so-called black women as Alice Walker. For those of you who don't know who Alice Walker is by name, she's the one who wrote the, the book, The Color Purple. All right, The Color Purple was a book that was used to promote the worship of the, uh, the worship of the Hindu religion. I believe it had the picture of the lotus flower on the cover. And if you ever watch the movie, which the movie is a uh, favorite of the so-called black woman, if you notice, every black male in that movie is a degenerate, right? Running around raping, uh, molesting. I remember this scene, they can't even get on their horse right. And the movie also promoted black lesbianism. All right, that's also where we got introduced to Oprah Winfrey as an actress. Oprah Winfrey, also who is a uh, MK Ultra programmed monarch child, right? Her programmer was named William Thetford. All right, for those of you brothers who don't know, William Thetford was a psychology, uh, a psychology professor at Columbia University. He's the one who implanted most of her personalities. Now, Oprah is a play on words. It's a mnemonic device uh, for the god Harpo, Harpocrates, right? Who was it? You no, know, it's just a Greek way of saying the god Horus or Heru. Now, if you ever look up the god Harpocrates, he's always depicted as having his index finger over his mouth for silence. He's the god of silence. All right. So Oprah, which is the which is the opposite spelling of Harpo, means obviously is a is a uh, signifier of talking. That's why they put her on talk shows. All right. Oprah is a plant. And for those of you brothers who might think that that's far fetched, it is what it is. But that's that is what she is. All right. But yeah, Alice Walker, who was a uh, <laughs> a student of Gloria Steinem, she's a raging, raging feminist, hates men with a passion to the point where even her daughter has no ties with her, will not speak to her because she said her mother stopped her from having productive relationships with men because first they had Alice Walker uh, with a white Jewish man. Like I told you, the so-called black liberals, they're trained by the Caucasian liberals and most of the Caucasian liberals happen to be Caucasian Jews, right? So after they terminated that, that fake relationship, then she went into lesbianism, all right? Once again, her teacher was Gloria Steinem, who has been already shown to be a CIA operative. Gloria Steinem also was the one behind the uh, black author, Michelle Wallace, writing a book, something like something called like No More Mr. Superman, something like that. You brothers can look it up. But it was in regards to trying to destroy the image of the black male. Gloria Steinem is the one behind writing that book. Now, Michelle Wallace also was under MK Ultra programming. All right. So this this stuff is a deep, deep rabbit hole. But that's why I like to make a lot of these videos just to make sure that, you know, that you that you brothers have a little bit better understanding. Those of you who don't already know of what's going on around you. you no, know, these things just don't happen. All right. Five. When women in Iceland walked off the job and out of their homes to show their worth to the nation. All these things are staged. 
They're, they pawn these women out. That's why they had this women walkout stuff uh, about a month or so ago. All this stuff is staged. It's easy to pawn out the woman because the woman is, is uh, she's always easy to trick. That's why Satan went to Eve in the garden. For those of you brothers who believe in the scriptures, that's why he went to Eve and didn't go to Adam. All right. You, Satan works through the woman because then he can use the woman to seduce the man. People saw that without women's work, the wheel of the country, they, they did not turn. Every Nonsense. Everything stood still. Last October, 40 years later, Frida Rose Voldemort's daughter joined thousands to repeat that protest for equal wages, striking at 2.38 p.m., the moment in the day they calculate women begin working for free. You basically did the math. Yes. And <laughs> figured out yeah. when you stopped getting paid. Yes. Did people get it? Totally. Women have been fighting for women's rights for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. And this is just one milestone. And we just have to keep on fighting. Women haven't been fighting for women's rights for hundreds of years. Uh, women have been being used behind the scenes by the international bankers for hundreds of years. All right. Now, you did have most of a lot of the spiritual aspect of the women's movement is based off of the teachings of uh, Madame Blavatsky, who was a top, top witch in the late 1800s. Uh, she taught people like Aleister Crowley and she started something called the Theosophical Society or Theosophical Movement, which we might go into later. It had it had members like uh, Mahatma Gandhi and uh, uh, uh Jiddu Krishnamurti and um, a lot of the, a lot of famous people from the late 1800s, a lot of so-called great thinkers, they were initiates or students under her, and she was a practicing witch. All right, and in witchcraft, in the witchcraft circles, they like to promote the women over the men. All right, in the Caucasian version of the witchcraft circles, because they look at the woman as a incarnation of the mother goddess. All right, that's why you'll always see once again. When it comes to a lot of this feminist stuff, they want to they want you to worship the woman. They don't want you to respect the woman. They want you to worship her. Right. Because she is an, she is an, an incarnation of the mother goddess. That's why. What, did, what do a lot of these simps say? The black woman is God. Right. Now, there are just a few voices of opposition on this bill. Are no, there's a lot of voices of opposition. Y'all just not going to cover it. Arguing that the private sector in particular should be left alone to police itself. The prime minister believes this bill will pass by the end of the year. And he says this could be the blueprint for gender pay equality worldwide. It will be the blueprint. It will be the blueprint. It'll be the blueprint for uh, for the woman to try to chase after the white man and, and, and the standard that he has set worldwide for supremacy. Because as already was shown by those pie chart stats, uh, they refuse to show how much money the women of color are making in juxtaposition to what the men of color are making. Notice they only showed the so-called black and Hispanic man because that's who they want to destroy. They're not worried about the Asian man, the uh, Middle Eastern, African. Uh, they're not worried about any of that. They were worried about you so-called black men. All right. And making sure that your women stay above you. Really interesting story. Really interesting, and I hope what you're saying is true. From your lips to God's ears, thank you. Yeah, yeah from, from her lips to God's ears. Thank you very much, Michelle Miller in Iceland. Ivanka Trump is... Yeah, so anyway, that's, that's it in regards to that topic. But uh, brothers, just stay on top of that, all right? Peace.